Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. For as long as humanity has looked up at the night sky, a few stars have stood out as timeless beacons of wonder and mystery. Among them, Betelgeuse, the fiery red shoulder of Orion, has captured the imagination of astronomers, storytellers, and stargazers across cultures and centuries. This colossal star is not just another twinkling dot in the sky. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant, one of the largest stars visible to the naked eye, and one of the most studied stars in the galaxy. Its sheer size, its unstable behavior, and its looming fate have made it both a cosmic wonder and a cosmic warning. And now, thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, Betelgeuse's secrets are unfolding like never before. When Webb turned its golden infrared gaze on this unstable star, the results challenged decades of assumptions and unveiled a story of chaos, upheaval, and creation on a truly cosmic scale. This is not just the story of Betelgeuse's strange dimming, its violent eruptions, or its unpredictable nature. This is the story of how one dying star is reshaping our understanding of stellar evolution, supernovae, and even the origins of life itself. The Giant in Our Sky Betelgeuse has long been famous not just for its brightness, but for its sheer enormity. Located around 640 light-years away, it is close enough for astronomers to study in remarkable detail, even resolving its surface with modern telescopes. To put Betelgeuse's scale into perspective, it is about 1,400 times larger than our Sun. If placed at the center of our solar system, Betelgeuse would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and even stretch beyond the orbit of Jupiter. Its radius alone spans over 600 million miles. This makes Betelgeuse one of the few stars whose disk has been directly imaged from Earth. Most stars appear as nothing more than points of light, even through powerful telescopes. Betelgeuse, however, is so vast and so near that astronomers can actually resolve its surface features, an extraordinary rarity. But with great size comes great instability. Red supergiants like Betelgeuse are nearing the end of their life cycle. After millions of years burning hydrogen and helium, they swell to immense sizes, cool in temperature, and begin burning heavier elements in their cores. These final phases are turbulent, unstable, and marked by violent activity. The Great Dimming of 2019 In late 2019, Betelgeuse shocked the world. The star, normally one of the brightest in the sky, suddenly began to dim dramatically. Over a few months, its brightness fell to just a fraction of normal, leaving astronomers and casual sky watchers alike stunned. For centuries, Betelgeuse had been a steady, familiar presence. Now it looked as though it was fading before our eyes. Speculation ran wild. Was this the prelude to a supernova explosion? After all, red supergiants eventually collapse and explode in one of the most violent events in the universe. If Betelgeuse were about to go supernova, the explosion would be spectacular. For weeks, it would shine as bright as the full moon, visible even in broad daylight, a sight not witnessed in thousands of years. The world watched, waiting. Scientists rushed to study the star, while the public buzzed with excitement and anticipation. But the explosion never came. Instead, in early 2020, Betelgeuse slowly began to brighten again. And soon, astronomers realized something remarkable. The great dimming wasn't the star dying, it was the star coughing. Betelgeuse had expelled an enormous cloud of gas and dust into space, and that cloud had drifted between us and the star, partially blocking its light. What we saw from Earth was not the star shutting down, but the shadow of its own ejected material. One of the most fascinating aspects of Betelgeuse's dimming was the way it united the astronomical community with the public. For months, both professional observatories and amateur backyard telescopes turned toward Orion's shoulder, tracking its every flicker. Citizen scientists shared thousands of observations with global databases, helping researchers build a detailed timeline of Betelgeuse's behavior. Rarely do we get to see the world collectively hold its breath, waiting to see whether a star is about to explode. It was a moment when science became a shared human experience. What scientists learned from this global collaboration is that Betelgeuse's surface is far more dynamic and volatile than previously thought. The star's convective cells, massive bubbles of hot plasma rising and falling, are so enormous that just one could engulf our entire solar system. 
These cells churn unpredictably, creating uneven patches on the star's surface that brighten and fade. When combined with clouds of dust released during eruptions, the result is a star that appears to wink at us from across the galaxy, reminding us that stars are not steady beacons but living, breathing entities of cosmic fire. This deeper look at Betelgeuse also forces scientists to confront gaps in our understanding of stellar lifespans. Traditional models suggest stars as massive as Betelgeuse live only about 8 to 10 million years before ending in a supernova, yet its exact age remains uncertain. Some evidence suggests it may already be in its last 100,000 years, while other models give it slightly more time. Either way, Betelgeuse is certainly on borrowed time, and each pulse, flare, or dimming episode adds another piece to the puzzle of how massive stars die. JWST's Game Changing Vision the mystery of the great dimming raised deeper questions. What exactly was happening on Betelgeuse's surface? Why was it ejecting such enormous amounts of material? And what did this mean for its ultimate fate? Enter the James Webb Space Telescope. Launched in December 2021, Webb was designed to peer into the earliest chapters of the universe. But it also has another superpower, the ability to study the dusty, turbulent environments of stars in exquisite detail. Unlike visible light telescopes, Webb observes in the infrared spectrum, which allows it to see through cosmic dust clouds. For Betelgeuse, this ability was crucial. By observing in infrared, Webb could pierce the veils of gas and dust surrounding the star and reveal what was really happening. And what it saw stunned astronomers. Betelgeuse's surface wasn't calm or steady. It was a seething, boiling cauldron of activity marked by massive hot spots, convective cells, and turbulent plumes of gas erupting into space. In fact, Webb revealed that Betelgeuse had undergone stellar mass ejections unlike anything ever observed from a star before. Stellar mass ejections, chaos on a cosmic scale. Our own sun occasionally produces solar flares and coronal mass ejections, bursts of plasma and magnetic energy that can disrupt satellites and power grids on Earth. But Betelgeuse's outbursts, they make our sun's tantrums look like candle flickers. One such eruption was so massive that it expelled a chunk of Betelgeuse's outer layers weighing hundreds of billions of tons. This colossal event was thousands of times more powerful than any eruption ever seen from our sun. It was this violent outburst that caused the great dimming of 2019. The cloud of ejected material cooled and condensed into dust, drifting across our line of sight and dimming the star's light. But these eruptions do more than just change Betelgeuse's brightness. They are signs of a star in profound turmoil. Red supergiants are not simply waiting to explode. They are unstable, shedding material in unpredictable ways, and living out their final chapters in violent fits and starts. The path to supernova. So, is Betelgeuse about to explode? The answer remains complicated. Betelgeuse is certainly nearing the end of its life. As a star with about 20 times the mass of our sun, its fate is sealed. It will eventually collapse under its own gravity and explode as a type 2 supernova. But predicting when that will happen is nearly impossible. It could be tomorrow. It could be a hundred thousand years from now, a blink of an eye in cosmic terms, but far beyond a human lifetime. What Webb has shown us, however, is that the late stages of a massive star's life are far more chaotic than previously thought. These colossal mass ejections may actually be a key part of the supernova process, shedding enough mass and energy to destabilize the star before its core finally collapses. When Betelgeuse does explode, it will be a spectacle unlike anything modern humanity has ever seen. The supernova will outshine every star in the sky, rival the full moon in brightness, and remain visible for months, even during the day. But it will also be safe. At 640 light years away, Betelgeuse is too far to pose any danger to Earth. Instead, it will offer us a front-row seat to one of the most profound events in the universe, the death of a star, the cosmic gift of chaos. For all its violence, Betelgeuse's instability is not just destruction. It's creation. Each time Betelgeuse ejects material into space, it enriches the surrounding interstellar medium with heavy elements oxygen, carbon, silicon, iron. 
These are the building blocks of planets, oceans, atmospheres, and even life itself. In fact, every atom in our bodies heavier than hydrogen was forged inside stars like Betelgeuse. The calcium in our bones, the oxygen we breathe, the iron in our blood, all were created in the hearts of ancient stars and scattered into space by violent explosions. In this sense, Betelgeuse's chaos is also our inheritance. Its eruptions are not just a sign of death, but part of a cosmic cycle of rebirth, ensuring that new generations of stars, planets, and perhaps even life will emerge from its ashes. Cultural and Historical Legacy Betelgeuse has fascinated humanity for millennia. Ancient cultures around the world wove it into their myths and legends. In Greek mythology, it marked the shoulder of Orion the hunter, locked in eternal battle with Taurus the bull. In Arabic tradition, its name derives from Ibn al-Jaz, meaning the hand of Orion. In indigenous cultures, such as those of Australia, Betelgeuse was seen as a fiery hunter or warrior. Its reddish glow has long been associated with fire, war, and danger, fitting for a star on the brink of violent death. Even today, Betelgeuse inspires countless stories in science fiction, from novels to movies, symbolizing both cosmic wonder and cosmic doom. And now, with Webb's discoveries, Betelgeuse straddles the line between legend and science more than ever before. It is both a cultural icon and a laboratory for astrophysics, connecting ancient myth to cutting-edge technology. Looking ahead. What lies in Betelgeuse's future? The truth is, no one knows for sure. The star could continue in its chaotic phase for centuries, periodically dimming and brightening as it expels vast clouds of material or it could suddenly collapse and explode in one of the greatest astronomical spectacles ever witnessed. What we do know is that thanks to the James Webb Space Telescope, we are finally peeling back the layers of mystery surrounding this enigmatic star. For the first time in history, we are watching a dying star in real time, observing the processes that lead up to its eventual demise. Betelgeuse may be unpredictable, but it is also a gift, a cosmic laboratory that allows us to study the violent deaths of massive stars up close. And in doing so, it reminds us of our own cosmic heritage, that out of destruction comes creation, and that we are, quite literally, made of stardust. Yet, Betelgeuse's story is not only about one star's fate. It's also about what it teaches us about the life cycles of galaxies themselves. When massive stars like Betelgeuse shed their outer layers, they contribute to the enrichment of the interstellar medium, which in turn fuels the birth of new generations of stars. Without these cosmic outbursts and ultimate explosions, galaxies would stagnate, star formation would slow, and the universe would be a far duller, less vibrant place. In this way, Betelgeuse is both an ending and a beginning, a reminder that destruction and creation are forever intertwined in the cosmos. Astronomers also view Betelgeuse as a test case for predicting other supernova candidates in our galaxy. By studying the signals, eruptions, and dimming events of Betelgeuse in detail, scientists can refine their models of how dying stars behave in their final centuries. These models are then applied to stars much farther away, where individual details are harder to see. In a sense, Betelgeuse is a nearby laboratory, one that could unlock clues about stellar deaths across the Milky Way and beyond. And perhaps most fascinating of all is how Betelgeuse highlights our unique vantage point in time. Out of billions of years in cosmic history, humanity happens to exist during the exact moment when this giant is living out its final act. Whether its ultimate supernova happens within our lifetime or not, we are the first civilization with the tools to truly watch and understand it. In this cosmic coincidence, there's something profoundly humbling. We are witnesses to a story written in the stars long before we existed, and one that will echo long after we are gone. Betelgeuse is more than a star. It's a story, one written in fire, dust, and time. A story that connects us to the cosmos in the most intimate way imaginable. And when it finally does explode, whether tomorrow or in 100,000 years, the universe will once again remind us that nothing lasts forever, not even the brightest stars. But in their death, they give life to everything that follows. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Betelgeuse's turbulent saga. If you found this story fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.
Stay tuned as we continue exploring the mysteries of the universe, one discovery at a time. This is Spaceverse, bringing the cosmos closer, one story at a time.